Hey, what is up guys? Marcy here, back to do a, another video, and today I've got two pretty one-of-a-kind games. And I do mean it when I say that, I have not had games like these. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is going to be on Tournament Highlands, and I'm not sure what to say, but let's get straight into it, shall we? And uh, first and foremost, I had a really bad hair day. I mean, of course I always do, but today I, it was especially bad. Anyways, I am trying to get games these days. It's very difficult to find players to play against. Senna seems to not be active. Uh, Bike Rush is playing Rivals and Red Alert 1. I've been asking him. Uh, I've been asking several players. I just can't get games so easily anymore. But uh, yeah, I do have a couple of games in the archive. This is not too old. This footage this is actually the, the most recent of my games. But uh, pretty awesome game. It's going to be on uh, one of the most uh, popular maps in the map pool. Remake of Badlands. If you can believe it, it's actually the same size as Tournament Badlands. And yeah, what is going on here? There's an MCB coming to my base this early on. I believe usually uh, games don't go this way. There's a MCB heading my way. I, and I knew this was happening, so I'm building a tier 2. Trying to decide how am I going to stop this, because my opponent is Steel Talons. How do I stop that, man? I, if I go infantry here, he's just going to build Watch Towers and overwhelm me. I don't have the Black Disciple upgrade. It's going to take me a good minute to get both of those upgrades that I need to stop that. So I am instead going to opt for a tier 3. War Factory comes down. I'm building a Flame Tank, but I just don't have the time. The second this Flame Tank comes out, the Titan's going to be out on the map, and he's going to be cr trying to crush my Harvesters. I mean, he can just put his Titan in front of my Harvester and crush it, so I need to dock this Harvester and get his money resources, as much resources as possible. I can sell my tier, uh, my uh, War Factory off if needed, but yeah, this is, this is awkward here. Titan out, second Titan comes out of that War Factory. This is one of those games that is yeah it's just one of those games i think it's a very good thing that he's doing this strategy completely took me by surprise i don't think my response is bad i think scorpion tanks would have failed here uh, second titan is out those watchtowers are a problem they're going to take out my black hand squad which i got for selling that tier two and i've got my obelisk down i'm going to try and get that hand of nod damage on the titan so that Obelisk of Light can finish it off. Low power goes for me, and that is unfortunate. Uh, smart targeting from Eclipse, just going for that um, upgraded power plant. But I am going to quickly restore power. The Conyard uh, outputs some power. I think it's 30 units of power, which is enough to fund uh, to, enough to power an Obelisk of Light. Not much more than that, though. And this obelisk is all I have left. I'm going to sell this tier 3 off so there's no more obelisk. It's just this obelisk. It's against three watchtowers. It's against three watchtowers. And a two titans. Thing is though, I'm not harvesting. My opponent probably has one harvester back at home. Harvesting away. So while I'm not harvesting, he is. And I'm on tier 1. So this game, it is anyone's game currently. But this obelisk of light is still alive. I'm placing my... My bets on this Obelisk of Light, it is saving me in this game for now, but it's getting so low on health. Look at that health bar. I need to stop queuing units to my War Factory and prioritize the funds on healing this Obelisk of Light up. I do have two Tiber Room Spikes, which is giving me income at this present time. And just as I said in the start of this game, yeah, this game is not your usual Kane's Wrath game. I got my refinery. Okay, so I got my refinery still. Those are really expensive to replace. And sadly for me, I cannot deal with those titans there. He's going to target my refinery. How do I destroy those titans? I can aim the war factory down. That obelisk of light is going to do good damage against the war factory. Uh, Eclipse changes targets. I'm trying to dock these harvesters in that... Uh, refine you just for a little bit and this obelisk of light is so low on health it's one shot away from death oh my god it's 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 so low on health that repair tool I need to ensure I have funds to repair this up this obelisk 
It's still alive. It's still there. Going for that war factory again. Guys, you can never get bored of the Obelisk of Light sound. Like it, it's it's one of the best sounds in the game, if not the best sound when it's firing. I think they did a tremendous job in this game when it comes to sound effects in general. But yeah, the Obelisk of Light is very iconic and it is holding the line here against the Steel Talons Army of Titans. There are three Titans there, well microed by uh, Eclipse. He does nail one of my harvests though. And he's probably also going to build some harvesters back at home. That Obelisk of Light got the heal from the Saboteur. That came out just in the nick of time. And I'm now starting to focus on this war factory, but just as before, I can't uh, defend my refinery from those Titans. He can just shoot that refinery and I have no way of dealing with it. But, yeah, Eclipse is going to just bypass my uh, obelisk and go to the left side of my base where there are no defenses. But since I do have three harvesters now, I can build units. Yes, units, guys, not just a base defense. So I'm going to be able to build a scorpion tank or two. If I can get this harvester docking, then, you know, maybe we can mount a defense against these two titans. Uh, that refinery is pretty defended with that obelisk of light there. It's going to be safe for my harvest to dock in there. One of the scorpion tanks is out. And I'm just going to try and get to tier 3 after this because I don't know what my opponent could be doing. It's very unusual and when games turn out to be super unusual and unorthodox like this, you have no idea what to expect. Harvester almost going down there whilst it is docking, beam cannon out here, which I'm going to use to charge up my Obelisk of Light. This was the whole point of this, and maybe I can build some Venoms too, because the likelihood of Orcus is pretty high at this current time. I can't see a single thing what my opponent is doing. I know my opponent has refineries and harvesters back at home, but I'm just going to assume that it's going to be something like a, uh, a bunch of Orcas, and if there's no Orcas, then it's going to be a bunch of pit bulls which will get dealt with what by this charged obelisk of light and if and if he's not building pit bulls then what i can do here is transition into tf3 and build avatars and equip those beam cannons to the avatars for those dual beam avatars so this is a good strategy from me i'm also going to be able to uh, cancel the uh, whatever he's building on this mcb because beam cannons can use an ability to target units and structures across the map with a chain of venoms. And it's not a lot of damage, but uh, nonetheless, it forces the opponent to pack up his construction yard, which delays him. And that's exactly what I want here. I'm building a tier 3. I can see there's four harvesters there. I'm also on the four harvesters, but I am working on my tier 3. And that was what I needed there to delay Eclipse. He was probably halfway done on a refinery or he was maybe working on a tier two. Either way, I think that disrupted him. And those pit bulls, he has to be careful with them. That Obelisk of Light has amazing range with the four beam cans there charging it up. It increases the range of the Obelisk of Light by 10% for every beam cannon charging it stealth tank out here for me because I just don't know what to build right now these games uh, I am so lost on what to do but yeah I'm gonna go for these venoms once again and try and target this refinery perhaps if not then I can use the catalyst missile but I see an even juicier target in his main base and I go for the double refinery kill that is what you want to ensure as GDI or Scrin or any faction for that matter against a nod faction just make sure your harvest your refineries are not uh, too close together so you don't get uh, both of them destroyed by that support power much is the same uh, for the tiber in vain you want to make sure that you don't have your units on that tip field and yeah that would be disastrous for you if they got one clicked but not as bad as it used to be because now you have the opportunity to move off the Tiberium field whereas before it was uh, 
their units were doomed if they were clicked on that field. Didn't matter if they uh, went off it, they still received that damage. So now, as I mentioned before, I'm going to go for these avatars and equip them up with the dual beam. I've got the Venoms out on the map, so Orcas are not going to be a threat. I've got that Stealth Tank out too. Pitbulls are not going to be a threat. Titans aren't going to be a problem with these dual beam avatars. I've got two out on this map. I can build another three with these beam cannons, and they're very effective against Titans. So I'm in a good position here to push him off of this field and I'm also researching the quad turret upgrade which is going to help against infantry spam if that is a thing. It's a cheap upgrade, it's only a thousand dollars and for a base push it makes a lot of sense to do this. So I've got the dual beam avatars moving in, the venoms as well, just do a bit of recon. I'm going to camp that barracks so infantry can't come out in force. I can deal with vehicles such as Titans at this point with these dual beam avatars and if one of them falls I can put down a hand of nod and reclaim that husk from those avatars. See a blue tip harvester coming back, we can see it has the blue type room contained within it as a feature of R21 which I added and it also will spawn a blue tip crystal because it gathered blue Tiberium. That's another difference in this uh, mod, patch mod I guess you could say. It's a natural thing in my opinion, I, it's it's there because I wanted to distinguish R21 from other uh, patches, wanted some unique defining features of it which didn't uh, distance itself too much from the vanilla gameplay. Anyways, yeah, that is one of the games and we go on to game number two which is uh, also pretty crazy uh, it's another strategy co showcase which i may have showcased before but nonetheless it's going to be interesting so let's go into that right now okay guys game number two which takes us to a brand new map which i don't believe i featured before on my channel it is a remake of tournament no not tournament twilight city by predator this map uh, therefore is compatible in the ranked ladder it was made by desolator trooper a great map. This map is a one-to-one -one, um, remake of Techniques Tournament Oasis. It is aptly named the same thing. And Desolated Trooper did a phenomenal job on this map. The lighting on it, the terrain. Uh, I just like the flat maps in general. This map as well as Tournament Savannah which was also recently introduced I have fell in love with. I would like to play more games on them though, it's again like I said it's hard to find players uh, of equal calibre to play against nowadays. I may play games against Futurama for the sake of a tournament uh, final on the weekend which will be fun. I may stream those games live, uh, and I don't know if I would require a delay or not but uh, it, just for the sake of games I'm going to be happy to play him. So yeah, this is going to be a clip zone versus once again. Got these awakened squads here, which are effective. They can get repaired by the war factory now. I did listen to your feedback, and yes, they can now repair uh, themselves at the war factory. Now, to do that, I had to increase the health of that unit. So th those units now have 1,200 health. Before they had 350. It was it was either 350 or four. I think it was 400 health. They had 400 health. So I multiplied it by by three. And yeah, that's going to make it so the repair rate isn't as much on them. Did offset that by the armor. So the armor is a lot worse on the cyborg units. Epic units are the other way around, they uh, made the health uh, like the Mammoth tank but instead increased the armor dramatically. That's how mines kill units like the Marv super quick because mines ignore armor. And since the Marv has the health of a Mammoth tank with a much larger hitbox then mines are insane against them. So this is not your typical knob mirror here. I'm going to be Mark Decane Eclipse playing as one of his best factions, the Black Hand. Both of us took our respective spikes. 
And I'm going to go for a sixth harvester. I do like building the sixth one uh, ever since the harvester bugs got fixed. I believe six and two is the most efficient ratio, especially for a one base strategy, which is what I'm opting for in this particular game. I've got an operation center down and I'm building a secret shrine. Uh, a patch change in R21 is the tip Tiberium Fusion it now costs $500 for the Mud of Cain. It still takes the same 30 seconds to research, but it's a little cheaper for them because they don't get uh, uh, fully upgraded infantry. They just don't get confessors on their rockets, nor do they get Tiberium Infusion on their Awakened squads. So the tip Infusion. It is a upgrade that is going to be seldom used or seen still even with that change but if you want to build and spam rockets then you can do that. It's not going to be a winning strategy though even with that cheaper upgrade. So I'm moving in here with my MCV. I'm going for a bunch of Tiberium troopers and the main purpose of moving my MCV with this army is for the voice of Kane because I'm going to receive a 50% increase to the rate of fire on those type room troopers. Tip troopers don't have a lot of damage, so this extra rate of fire is gonna be pivotal for me uh, to uh, deal with this force promptly, especially those shredder turrets, which are gonna be spammed by my opponent here. I can seal this war factory off if I need funds, and now I'm gonna go in for this attack. I've got type room troopers. They're gonna be very effective against those buildings. So here goes nothing, I'm gonna use the voice of Kane. And these Tiberium Troopers will now just instantly melt structures. Uh, Scorpion tanks can crush, but with these Enlightened and Awakened squads I have now on the front line, it's going to be my fault for the units being crushed because I can slow them down and EMP them quite nicely. So, yeah, most of this army of mine has not yet committed to the fight. I'm giving Eclipse time to get down his units and base defenses but that's not gonna be a big deal there are some bikes in the back of my base which is unfortunate for me I did not keep one enlightened squad here around to EMP them that would have been very effective I can also build more than one voice of cane in this patch but yeah the uh, army of cyborgs and Tyburn troopers are just rolling into Eclipse's base it doesn't really matter if I lose a harvest here and there because I'm killing Eclipse's whole entire expansion he still has harvesters on his field. He's trying to put down base defenses. He doesn't have the $3,000 cloaking support power, which he can use against my infantry. He's building black hands, well, he just does not know what to build. Even flame tanks at this point would not do a single thing. He just does not have the force multiply anymore to do anything. The infantry is not an option. The shredder turrets, even with quad turret upgrade, is not an option. The black hand squads aren't an option. The MCV is toast. It can't do a single thing. It's now EMP'd. Particle beams are just not going to do a whole lot for him either at this point. Because I can get a bunch of beam cannons out if so and push, pull my forces back. But the main thing is I took Eclipse's expansion out and I retained my conyard. I'm building a refinery at this present time and you can just see the DPS on these type troopers are insane. Uh, the only thing that will kill me is yes, my own forces. Eclipse uses the hallucinogenic grenades that I'm spamming the S key on my keyboard to avoid the bulk of that friendly fire and now the raider buggies are out here and that's not a big deal I can just EMP them and target them down very quickly and effectively and with those buggies being suicided I can just go in for the final kill because I just slowed down his production he's only got two buggies out on this map and that is it, Senate, um, not Senate, Eclipse does throw in the towel. And I thought that was a pretty awesome game on Tournament Oasis, showcasing a new strategy with Black Hand. Uh, these two games and the recent videos have been nod based, but I do want to go back to playing GDI, but for now I am having a blast playing the nod factions. There you saw some Matt Decane and Vanilla Nod action. I particularly enjoyed that first one with the heroic obelisk of light. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like button. I really do appreciate that. And I'll see you all in the next one. This is Master Leaf. Peace out.